while fall foliage more famous, famously owes their colors to the decreasing amount of green chlorophyll, they get the shades of red in some trees from anthocyanins produced only as winter approaches. Wow, I had a lot of trouble reading that one out loud, and I'm going to have to read it five times now. Okay, so the thing that jumps out at me here, fall foliage is an it, not a they. Foliage is the uh, kind of mass word uh, for all the leaves on the tree. So even though it refers to a large group of leaves, it's still not a they, it's an it. So we can get rid of the they answer choices, which are A, um, B, and uh, E. So now between C and D, let's see what we find. Um, <clears throat> C says, while fall foliage gets the shades of red in some trees from anthocyanins, it more famously owes its colors to the decreasing amount of green chlorophyll produced only as winter approaches. Okay, um, that's, that's true. Um, let's keep that one. D, although fall foliage more famously owes its colors to the decreasing amount of green chlorophyll, it gets the shades of red in some trees from anthocyanins produced only as winter approaches. Um, so given the choice between these, both of these are grammatically correct, although has more, uh, more contrast to it than while. And um, the, uh, there's also a little bit of a, uh, a difference here um, in the sense of the sentence. The, uh, in choice C, the subordinate clause is the information about the anthocyanins causing the, the shades of red, um, whereas in uh, choice D, the subordinate clause, and therefore the less important point, is that, hey, the, it's, it's famous that, that the leaves lose their color because the green chlorophyll is going away. So in terms of which one makes more sense, the greater contrast of although, um, because while can also just mean at the same time as. So greater contrast in although, and then the main sentence is the one that's more like new information. So we can select D and um, eliminate C.